Hi and welcome to Homo Lidens, the channel on history and board games. It's early, it's the return of the pyjama streams, uh, and if you think it's early, uh, it's even earlier for us. <laughs> <I think>. what, <laughs> what time is it, Russ, for you? Uh, my clock says 5.02. Oh my god, that's so violent, that's so violent. I can't believe I, I managed to convince you to do those things. Uh, I, I feel like... Uh, you know that the, this experiment where um, uh, someone is in a room and they are asked to ask someone else a question, and if they say wrong, they have to send them a small voltage. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I feel like I feel like I'm doing this, uh, <laughs> but I enjoy every step of it. So that's the, <laughs> that's the thing. No, but yeah. So this is the pilot episode, I would say, in a new series for Homo Lidens. So some of you who don't who know me will already know that, but if you've uh, never really watched this channel before, uh, that would be a news for you. I'm not a big fan of solo games, <laughs> so that's the thing. Uh, but um, Liz Davidson from Beyond Solitaire convinced me to launch a series, uh, and we were thinking about what could be the name of that series and everything, because basically I cannot uh, play solo games <laughs> if I don't have someone holding my hand. Uh, so it's really hard for me to engage with it and kind of defeats the purpose, uh, we could say. And so, yeah, I started a series called uh, One's a Crowd, uh, where I will play uh, solo games with guests that actually help me play the game because my brain is smooth. <laughs> so, that's the, so that's the whole concept. So for that pilot, Russ uh, came over because Russ really wanted to play this game uh, called Halls of Egra. Uh, that was released by Tumpet's Game, uh, I think it was last year, uh, if I remember well. Do you, do you remember, Russ, when it was? Um, yeah, I think it came in this year, actually. This earlier year, this yeah. Year. So earlier this year. Yeah, so yeah. Um, so this is a, a game that is somewhat reminiscent of um, the Valiant Defense series. And actually, David Thompson was here earlier before taking his flight to um, San Diego. Um, I think he would have liked to actually watch the, the stream. Um, so it reminded me of this when I read the rules, and um, and yeah, it's um, so it's World War II, uh, Norwegian army uh, fighting against the Nazis. So that looks actually pretty interesting. The production is amazing. Like I've been, I was really really impressed. I think this publisher only released one game before, and the quality of the the quality of the production is is quite something. Um, you you have the physical copy also, Russ, right? Yes. Yeah, I do. So what? Did, I've got my rule book right here. Yeah, but what, what did you think about the production? Oh yeah, the production's awesome. Um, you know, it's got several draw bags, and each of them have the the names on them. The discs, uh, wooden discs, uh, are great. Uh, the cards and the art. I love mm. the board. The board looks like a, uh, you know, the desk in a commander's office. Yeah, all these little things taped to it, and the map that you know looks hand drawn and stuff. It's. Uh, it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty impressive. Yeah. So we, we're going to play on TTS today, um, but you see some of it. And, uh, but yeah, I really recommend. I'm, I'm going to show some stuff as we go because the art on the cards is amazing. It's really, a, it's really quite a nice object. And thanks to Earth for being here and waking up um, at, a, at a normal time uh, compared, to, compared to Russ. All right. We actually have the designer here. Hey, how are you? Yeah. Thanks for joining us. If uh, we make mistake, uh, let us know. Um, we'll be happy to uh, to uh, to uh, <laughs> to correct it and bring your comment uh, on the chat. And yeah, I guess we can probably uh, jump into it. Oh, uh, by the way, I, I think I forgot to say it last time. But for those of you who don't know, uh, Russ is a um, uh, a regular guest, I would say, on the show. But he's also the the like the how do you say the mind behind Cardboard Conflicts, um, the the blog. I don't know if you want to talk a bit about it. Yeah, I mean, so I started the blog about two years ago now, and uh, it really was just my avenue to get my thoughts out in the world. Uh, I really only got into the board wargaming um, right right in the middle of the pandemic, which is a terrible time mm. to start playing uh, board games. Um, but I think it was spring of, of 21, I started getting in uh, pretty hard and heavy. And so the blog was just kind of my way to kind of put some of those thoughts down and kind of share my experiences to maybe other new people getting in that might, you know, have questions or be intimidated, um, you know, by the wargaming scene. Yeah, that's really the wargamer pipeline. Like you get into wargaming, then you're like, oh, I have so many thoughts. I need to share them somewhere. You create a blog or something. And then um, before you know it, Russ, you become a wargame designer. 
<laughs> uh, which is actually uh, well on its way for you. Um, yep. so, yeah, <laughs> so we, we'll see about that. But I'm uh, really excited about this uh, um, first game uh, on the Vatican, which is pretty awesome. Um, actually, yeah, I, the, the latest uh, version of it actually packed my interest because I saw there was actually quite some significant changes. Um, but yeah, let, don't get me don't let me get distracted. <laughs> I'm looking at this uh, card art, which is actually quite interesting. Actually, maybe shows something that is interesting because this game is actually going on different phases. So we're going to go through mobilization, then the first attack, and then you have uh, the two stage of the siege, and then you finally have the last stand. And you were telling me that actually the dynamic of the game and even the um, the sequence of play is actually going to be quite uh, different. And you can see it on the back of the rulebook here. <coughs> Uh, that sums it up, I think, quite nicely. Where you have, yeah, the different phases and everything. Yeah. So I was uh, quite quite interested in seeing uh, this layout. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know that I've played a war game that quite has an arc, uh, narrative arc like this one. Uh, it's very interesting. That's I think one of the parts I love the most about this one. Yeah, and just to be clear, so that's also something that I haven't said. I received a review copy from the publisher. So, yeah, just for you to know, uh, publisher sent a review copy. But funnily enough, uh, when they originally reached out, I say, no, thanks, that's fine. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, not, not for me. <laughs> like, I'm, it's just a sort of game. You have. It looks great, but it was like, no. And then Russ was like, this game slaps. Like, you really need to 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 cover it and everything. And I was like, are oh, you sure? I mean, oh, solo games, you know, it's not my thing. And we're so convinced that uh, I needed to try it, that I had to go back to the publisher and say, well, I know I said no, and I was a bit of a dick, but now that I thought about it, uh, maybe I will take a review copy. Uh, so, so anyway, uh, so they've been really kind uh, well, about me and my antics, so I, I really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, and I think it's a good timing because I, I believe the second uh, printing is on the way, something like this. Um, so, so maybe it's it, maybe it's all for the better. Uh, who knows? But basically, so we are here. Um, I guess this is the fortress that we're trying to defend, right? If we have a look at uh, what's happening, and then yep. those are the the um, the Nazis coming down from from here towards the towards the fortress. I guess. Yeah. So basically, what you have here is is up here. This is the. Uh... Uh, the supplies and we will actually send runners or we can send runners out from the fortress to try to sneak past yeah behind uh, the enemy lines to get some supply. lines to get supplies yeah. and then bring it back um, so patrols may pop up along the way late in the late game artillery yeah. will come out um, along the route that will will start hitting us pretty hard um, but that's the, the the ramp up on this game too and like first few turns you're like oh yeah I'm doing okay and then Trust me, by the time we get into that siege too, uh, it, it, if we survive that long, it'll be, uh, it, it'll it'll be, be challenging. <laughs> yeah, good. That's what we want in the solo game anyway. So that's, uh, exactly. so that's, so that's good. Great. So should we stop jumping in and then we explain, you explain step by step what, what's up and the type of decision that um, needs to be made? Yeah, sure. So, yeah. Um, so the First thing that we do is moving the weather track, I guess, or? Yeah, so we actually will draw a card from the mobilization deck, so. Um, they shuffle? I guess I should shuffle yep, each other. shuffle those and then. Yeah. Yep, so I draw. Mm -hmm. So we don't move the weather track to start with? Well, we'll see what the, the card symbol is. And then okay. it'll, it, each card will have a, a weather symbol and then we'll move the, the weather track uh, accordingly. Is there a place for me to place the card? It would be good. I could place it here. Yeah, yeah here that'll nice. be fine. Ooh, yeah. the symbols. Ooh. Looks yep. like it's going to be cold. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we move it up to snow and then yep. we move the snow marker um, one to the right. Okay. Oh like, yeah. So okay. So you have a sub mechanic that is like a timer mechanic where you get actually get hits for the more, uh, yeah, the more snow you get. So it's yeah. Yep. Fair if enough. you get if your fortress gets buried, we actually there's this deck uh, right here that is the uh, kind of the snow deck. We actually have actions that we can take, um, and this is a worker placement. So we will get workers, and yeah. then we will put them in various spots. But you actually have an action called shoveling snow. And that will lower this snow marker. And if it ever 
would move from the one spot to the left, we actually draw a yeah. card out of here that was symbolizing that we're we're actually digging this fortress that was um, was built in the early 1900s and was yeah not and was there. abandoned yeah it was abandoned and so they're actually digging parts of the fortress out to ready it for for the attack yeah. It's it's really interesting, but we'll talk about it later. But that there is a uh, worker placement component. I think in the siege war game, it makes a lot of sense, and I'm really happy to see this appear. So I'm actually already uh, quite quite curious to to see that. Oh, and Alexandre, you're here. So Alexandre, I think it's five a.m. for him also over there. Uh, <laughs> and Timmy's here. My God, you guys are insane! Like waking up at five to see Russ and me. Um, uh, playing a solo game, I'm, I'm actually quite impressed. As I said uh, to Liz, I might actually pivot the content of my channel to only do solo, you know, just to, <laughs> <laughs> to go for her. Uh... Anyway, so we've done that. Um, and then we resolve the um, uh, the card deck. So add one Despair card to a uh, high yeah. morale deck. Uh, you must move the Fear Marker one level up. So let's start with Despair cards. Where are they? They are in the bottom right corner here. So basically you have two decks. You have high morale and low morale. And this kind of applies at the end um, of each turn. And so you basically you can see the high morale with these Despair, which are bad. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you can see the low morale with hope. Um, which okay. is good. So right now we're... So this is a shitty deck that we can make better. This is a good deck that we can make worse. Exactly. I like it. Uh, so I'm going to put it in and shuffle. Yep. Uh, so Alex is being nice, saying I had some work to do, so he's actually come... <laughs> and, and, and Stuart is being Stuart, you know? <laughs> Such a, a petty little boy. Uh, so you must move the fear marker one level up. Uh, so fear yeah. is yeah. here. So yeah. we go to three to four. Yep. Uh, okay. So that's us. We resolved uh, what is, and there is a bit of flavor text that really cheers me up. This is hopeless. So that's yeah. <laughs> and then the uh, in this phase, the last thing that we do is at the bottom. You see, there's the icon with the little pink disc being tossed yeah. into the bag. What we will do is we will look down at this doubt um, track that is in the mobilization phase, and we can see it's sitting at one right now. So that yeah. means we must place one doubt marker into the bag. Okay. And what that does is we are actually going to draw for um, uh, for for recruits um, to actually come to our fortress. And if we draw a doubt, that's the the doubt that the people that, have yeah, that they people can survive. Yeah. And then we will basically stop our draw and we won't be able to draw anymore. Um, okay. So it's kind of a bit of a push your luck mechanic. Mm. And each turn it gets worse with more of these doubt markers. But getting yeah, added. coming in. Um, so your mix and your chance of pulling them is going to get higher and higher. So how many uh, uh, chits should I be uh, drawing from the from the recruit back now? So now you draw, um, you can draw up to four. Yeah. Um, but you draw them one at a time, and you see what you get. So okay. I get a soldier. So you got a soldier. And can I decide to stop at any time? Because if um, I draw yes. this, I lose you, everything? You can. So yeah, what will happen is if you draw a doubt, you choose one of the discs um, oh, yeah. in your recruitment area to keep, and the remainder go back I'm to go. reserve. So they get, they stay out. All right. So yeah, that's so three. volunteer to soldier. Ah, yeah. Let's go for it. Yay. Right. Yeah, it's we got a hunter. hunter. Awesome. Those guys are great at shoveling snow. Great. Uh, so this is what I have. Is there maybe a place where it should be? Um, yeah, they can go in that recruitment area right below the bag. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put this here. Awesome. So I have some uh, a variety of dudes. So this was the event phase, and now we get into the morning phase, I yep. guess. So oh, actually, those guys. So we, we got all four of them. Those guys will move directly into the ready area. Yeah, they'll, be, okay. they'll be good to go. Over here. Oh, we actually have quite a lot of things here. That's nice. Yeah. I feel like I'm already winning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, trust me. It'll swing. It'll swing hard the other way. Yeah. I'm ready to, you know, fight the whole Third Reich. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we are moving on to the morning phase. Yep. 
So we don't have anybody in a rest area. Basically, like most worker um, placement, you'll we'll assign people. They'll get into this tired, and then we can move a couple of them into rest, and then we can yeah. move people from rest into ready. Um, this is so, this is obsession, right? Like the I don't know if you've played obsession. Yes, um, yes. Yeah. This is yeah. Those are my servants. <laughs> and then this, it, this is, yeah. Essentially, yes. It's yes. very, very, very similar to that same concept there. Um, oh, that's great. So that's basically what we'll be doing, kind of in this phase. Uh, oh yeah. So um, uh, good thing that we have the designer in the chat reminding us that when we bring a blue one, it brings a supply. Oh in. yes, that is a good reminder. So uh, I uh, how do I visualize the supplies? The supply are these uh, little yellow oh, guys. Yeah. So, so I'm going to put a here. yellow and I put it here. Yep, in one. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> because we kind of forgot. Yes, supplies are very important. Basically, we can use those to refresh guys um, quicker. Great. Okay. Uh, All right. Good. <clears throat> yeah. Perfect. So now we kind of are going to go through and decide where and how many of these guys we want to assign to different tasks. And what you'll see, um, the again, very great kind of visuals on this board. You can see all the different spots of the board are numbered. So it kind of helps to know when you go through the turn, when we resolve these, mm. which will resolve in what order. So we start here at the mobilization board at zero. Um, defending the walls won't really start until the, the first attack, um, but we do have a spot up here, and we can unlock the other spots through actions. Uh, but on their mobilization, we can open a new supply route, which basically means right now we only have one open. Um, we have the supply tokens. We can put the tokens in one of these other areas if we take that action. Yeah. So we can get, um, you know, where we are either removing uh, patrol markers or missiles um, or we're basically getting morale boosts um, is what the, the other locations give us. Okay. Um, and then the negotiation, um, we can move one of these two markers down, mm. either fear or doubt. Um, and you can see, so it says 2x, that means you need two workers to do that. Yeah. In the bottom of negotiate, the black disc, which is the officer symbol, um, yeah. has a two next to it. That means that the officer counts as double. So one okay, officer. So if I put negotiate here, that would be uh, the officer's uh, whole action. Uh, Correct. But he, he won't need anyone else. Okay. Correct. Yep. Ah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I like the idea. Yeah. Yep. And so then you can see the other actions. Um, we're not ready to fire artillery, so we don't have that. But under maintenance, this is where we can shovel snow. And again, you can see the hunter, they count for two here. So you can actually do move this snow marker twice by the use of one hunter. Yeah. Um, um, or you can any two, but the officer has an X, so he cannot shovel snow. Yeah. No, um, pretty straightforward. And then repair, you can see that a lot of crap is broken in the base. We have these defensive positions, but these uh, markers that are sitting on top of them basically are re we we can't put people along the wall because it's got to be get repaired first. Um, same for our artillery. Our artillery needs repaired. So, um, you know, this first phase, this mobilization phase, we won't get any attacks. So this is our time to, to really... Focus on, yeah. Focus on you. You can still take these actions once attacks come. However, you're gonna you're, you're gonna devote a lot more resources towards defense. Um, so now's the time to do do those kind yeah. of things where we're we're getting um, repairing the base where we can. But let's yeah, let's go for it then. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna send my officer into negotiation, and I place all of them right, and then we go through each of the yep. phases. And then we'll, yeah, we'll um, resolve each of these once we get into the day phase. We definitely want a hunter to shovel some snow. I think that makes a lot of sense. Yep. Uh, should I be using everyone or should I keep a few in ready? Um, so we're going to draw these first um, three turns and then into the, into the first attack, we're going to just keep drawing for uh, more recruits, although we are going to be adding more doubt. Um, so that's where... You know, if you use that negotiate and drop your doubt marker down, you're, you're going to keep it at one. You're going to yeah. get a lot of events that are continue to make that rise. Okay. Um, 
And so, you know, we definitely don't want to be adding two or three doubt discs into that bag. Yeah, um, sure. But we will be getting uh, more more guys. And can I put multiple guys on the same spot? Like, could I have more yes. people repairing? Um, you could have more people repairing. You can only have um, one guy in each of the the defense spots up here. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, in, in that stage, I could put two soldiers here. Actually, I'm gonna uh, put a put a volunteer here. So I'm gonna put a volunteer here. Um, oh, you've already got a gonna, soldier here, though. Yeah, and I, but I cannot have two. Not in there, no. Ah, uh, not in there. Okay, so put a volunteer here. Uh, it's, yeah, it's a one X right there. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, I said that 2x was the number that I needed to actually do something. So I'm going to put a volunteer here. So I put two here to open a new supply route. Um, yep. hmm. What else do I want to do? We don't need to treat anyone. So where do I put them when I want to repair the guns? Repair is down here on the repair section. Oh, yeah. Okay. And I need two also. Uh, yep. I'm going to put a soldier and a volunteer. You know, I'm, gonna, I'm making this thing where... Like we make volunteers and soldiers work together. And then the other thing you can do is um, start a supply run. So you can send a guy out that will basically run down this track, yeah. pick up one of these tokens and come back. So that's what that does. I'm going to do that. And then the question is, now I only have two uh, dudes left. Uh, what is promote? So promote, you need a... Um, the officer to do it um but basically i believe you're turning a volunteer into um, to a soldier soldier yeah okay i'm gonna wait a bit for that uh and i might want to hmm do i want to bolster not yet i think i'm gonna take the last two And I'm gonna go for inspire. That's my so that's my placement. So I've I've placed the uh, and I move, so I move my defenders uh, from ready to action spaces. So that's basically the end of the of the morning phase, right? Yep. Okay. And now we resolve the day phase. So we go and this is the thing. Yeah, yeah. This number actually system is really cool because I guess we we'll go just to each of them and resolve the actions there. Yeah, basically, I mean, you can see it kind of on the, the play aid, it kind of has the numbers yeah. down the side here. So um, it kind of shows you, you kind of go through each of those numbered areas and resolve your 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 uh, actions based on, you know, what, what you may have picked in that area of the board. So we start with mobilization here. Yep. Uh, yep. And we had uh, open a new supply route, add delivery tokens to a new supply depot. Uh, so how does that work? So then we go up to the top uh, map here, and where are the tokens? Oh, the tokens are, are over here on the side. Oh, yeah. Um, we just pick what stack, so which ones do we want to um, to do. So essentially, we the, the top one is removing German patrols from a patrol bag. We actually yeah. withdraw. Um, so that's what those do. The next one down are add miss tokens. So again, eventually we will take hits to the fortress. Yeah. We'll draw them out of this bag. We can actually add these miss tiles. So there's a greater chance that we'll draw a miss and not take a hit. That's what those tokens do. And then the bottom ones are morale tokens. So they'll they'll help boost our morale. So now I choose two, right? Yeah, you choose like a whole group of those and you will oh, put yeah. them on their corresponding spot um, over uh, here on the Should we uh, take a a, a, a delivery. Do you think we should take the deliveries first, maybe? Yeah, these guys wouldn't be too bad. I mean, really, they're all good, but I, the morale yeah. definitely helps because if we can get high morale and be drawing out of that high morale deck um, more often, that's very good usually for us. Yeah, and Alex is making a really good comment. A game about shoveling snow. I mean, definitely. <laughs> I know that. Yeah, that's basically like we're playing uh, more or less Alex's life. Um, yeah. <laughs> so that's yeah. So that's pretty nice. Okay, so I've uh, added this here. So I have the delivery token here that we increase our morale. So uh, that's pretty great. Um, so that was the mobilization. Yep. Uh, do I put those in? Uh, oops. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's a little tricky in TTS. Yeah, so that, do I put them in? Uh, those guys will go to tired, yep. Yeah. After they're used. 
They go to Tangard. Uh, then I have negotiate. So move. Uh, I'm going to. Oh, wait a minute. This moved away. Sorry. So it was here. And I'm going to decrease it by one. Uh, yes. So that's. I don't have a roll or anything. It's an instant success, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. You just move one, one of those two tracks down. And the officer goes back in. And yeah, they all go to tired when they're. Okay. So maybe I shouldn't have placed everyone. We'll be able to move two for free and to rest, and then we can spend yeah. supply to immediately move them to ready. Okay, yeah. Uh, so this is that. So we've done the mobilization. Defend the walls doesn't happen because we're not fighting yet. Um, and then we have the um, the artillery. We didn't do. We didn't plan on firing artillery because we don't have artillery available. Yep, and we don't have the attack, so that we have no one to shoot yeah. at yet. We're so now we go into the into the supply run. Yep. Uh, so supply run, we have uh, one soldier here in the supply run. <clears throat> so move all supply runs, resolve returning supply runs. So what, what does happen in the move? So do I take this guy and place him in, in one? Um, yes, he can move. How many guys does he move? Do, 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 do. I'm trying to remember. <sighs> Maybe page 18. Oh, he moves. Um, oh, yeah. The, based on the, the weather. Yeah, he moves one to four. Okay. Uh, and he starts in one of those spots. Yes. So, but th that counts as one, though. Yep. One, two, two three, so three, four. He can, yeah. he can get out to here. And those, what are they doing? So, oh, those are supply. Yeah. But that'll give us extra. Yeah. yeah. So they're going to go get supply um, and they're going to bring it back. Two, three, four. So he's going to yeah. go here. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, so now we've done uh, the supply run. Uh, and now we shovel, repair, bolster, promote, and all that. So that's the maintenance part. Yep. Uh, so maintenance. So shovel snow. Uh, hunter moves the marker snow two two on the left. Yep. Boop, boop. So he's gonna go. He's definitely tired. This guy. Yeah. I mean, he shuffled so much snow. We are gonna yeah. call him Alex. I'm gonna change. Uh, yeah. This guy is gonna be called <laughs> Alex. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so it's the the snow shuffler. <laughs> I think I might just give names uh, as we go, depending on how I feel about that. Um, We're assaulting the poor there. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Uh, so you start your movement on the fortress. So if you move four, you get to the circle below the supply depot. Yeah, th and this is what we've. Yeah, this is what we've done. Yeah, one, two, three, three, four. Yeah. So just here. Yeah. Thanks for the clarification. Um, so the first, yeah, the first uh, circle is already uh, uh, a one. Good. Okay. Uh, so we have this. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, so we shoveled. Now we can repair. So we remove one damage tile or gem one status. So I'm going to repair that first gun. Yep. Put this here. And those two are going to go into tired. And now uh, I have one inspire. Uh, so that means that this goes. The morale goes up by one. Yep. Okay. Do we do the effect of the morale track straight away, or does it? Um, morale will be taken. Do, 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 do. Let me double check. I believe we don't have anything else to to do, so morale will be the last phase of the day step in mobilization. Oh, and actually, this guy was placed here, but he should have been placed somewhere else, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So he, he's gonna stay in ready. That's fine. Uh, it was a it was a mistake. The yeah, it was actually here. That's okay. Yeah, we wouldn't have been able to use him for anything else anyway. Uh, so yeah, what we're, what we're saying, is, yeah, for the morale track, do we resolve it now, or is it is there a specific phase for that? Yep. So morale is kind of part of the day. It's the last kind of step. So we look at a the section a up above. Oh yeah, a bunch of modifiers. Because yeah, now we're done with the day phase because we don't have anyone in the infirmary, so we go into the morale step of the day. Okay, that's really cool. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, if we had people that were hurt, we would go through yeah. the inf infirmary and we would treat we could treat them, and you could 
move them up and, and stuff. Or if they're in the waiting area, they get sicker because you they're waiting for a bed and there's no one to look at them. Uh, okay, so we have A. What do we do in A? Um, we're just basically doing modifiers here. So you kind of go down this list. It's not a red day. You look at your turn. You see there's some days that are red. If it was red, the, the morale track would go down one automatically. If we were out of supplies, it would go down automatically. If we had defenders in the waiting area, which we don't, it would go down another step. Um, if we per defender we have in the morgue, it would go down a step. And then if we had any soldiers in the red sector, red sector. We, yeah. we don't have the attack and that uh, really cool piece. We'll see the board change when we get there. Um, but then it would go down. So basically our morale checks, morale is going to stay where it was, which was on a plus one, yeah. which, which means we get to draw two cards out of this high morale and we pick one to resolve. Nice. Uh, so we got this. And so one is removing. Oh, no, we're just looking at the top because we're yeah, in the we're in the mobilization phase. phase. Yep. So, so Reaper one damage tile or move two defenders from the tire. Hmm. Right? Hmm. Hmm. So if I move two, I can actually repair a damage tile. Yes. And do something that. else. You could so use that's, them to repair. That seems like actually, a better option. Yeah, so I'm going to do this, and I'm going to bring back Alex. There you go. <laughs> we have to ready. <laughs> Good. And because Pierre is not watching, we're going to call Pierre a volunteer. But I might... So Pierre is watching, but he's not um, He's not listening. So, <laughs> so he's, for now, he's just a volunteer. Pierre is here. Good. Uh, so, yeah. So I, I, I decide to resolve this one. What do I do with the, with the cards? I think there's just a discard. I just yeah. keep them right there. Yeah, I'm just going to put them here. Okay, good. Uh, and that's... Uh, so we checked the turn track for uh, German stuff, cool retreat and last stand. So where's the turn track? The turn track's oh, at the very bottom of the board in yep. the middle. Oh, and there is two German things. Yep. That shouldn't be nice. Yeah, I think it means we draw um, two... Patrols. Patrols. Okay. Them. Oops, sorry. And when we flip them, it should say it goes on one and five. And do, 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 do. They go on the green, I believe. Um, so right where we're, where we're at. Oh, that sucks so hard. Okay, so this one is going here. And the other one will go on five. Uh, so what happens with that? Small I dude? don't think anything happens with him when he comes out. I think... Let me double check what we have to do. do, do. Yeah, you must still place it even if the space contains a disc. Uh, 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 uh. What will happen is when we get there, um, we can choose to sneak around that guy, which is a bit of a risk. Um, yeah. where we might have to, to roll and see what happens. Um, you know, and then we'll, we'll, we'll raise this, this suspicion track, which means we can get more guys popping out too. So as the, oh, the yeah. patrols kind of see us sneaking around, they'll... Oh, yeah. Get a little bit wiser to the action. Um, we'll see when we get there, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we'll, we'll either have to stop the. I think we can we can move through them, but we just have to kind of stop, or we can choose to sneak. Um, yeah. The soldiers can fight those guys if we want, and again roll. So he is a soldier, so he could we could choose that action if we want. Yeah, and uh, confirmed by. Designer himself, nothing happens. But yep. I feel like it's still going to be annoying in the future. Anyway, we move the turn track, so we go to yep. turn two. Yep. And we go in the second round, and we start it all over again. So we draw yep. a new card. Draw a new card, and we'll see what weather we get. Oh, oh snow, snow again! Snow, blah. <laughs> lame. So snow marker. Thank mm. God, Alex uh, shoveled some snow in the, uh, yep. in the round before. Uh, so that's uh, good. And then uh, you lose uh, one morale. Yep. All that morale that I worked for. Oh, and the morale, I believe, resets after each turn. So it'd actually be at a minus one. Oh, no. That sucks so hard. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
So you lose one, you must move the dot marker one level up. All my work ruined by just a bad snowstorm. Uh, and then, so I have to bring in, and th those symbols on the side, what do they? That's if we get an attacker. Um, okay. if, if we have something where we have to lose a defender, it'll like you might get an a, a event that says you must lose one defender. We actually re go down that list. So we would, do we have any volunteers? They would be the first to go. If no, then it would be the hunters. If no, then it would be the medics. Do I have so to put a, a doubt in the recruit bag? Um, yes, because we are sitting at one. So we will add one doubt into the deck. Yeah. And again, we can draw up to four. You draw one at a time to see if you have doubt. So a bit of a push your luck mechanic here. <laughs> so up to four once again. Yep. Just grab one at a time. Okay. Another hunter. Good. Oh, oh for fuck's sake. Yeah. Okay. So this means that uh, does the doubts come back? Um, we can, I think when we can keep one guy, so I think we get to keep that one guy, but we can't draw any more and the doubt goes back in the bag. The doubt goes back in the bag. Yep. You always get at least one. Um, and this one goes to ready then. Yeah. Well, it's probably better to get it for a second, <laughs> I can guess. Yep. Uh, okay, so that's that. Um, not really happy about that. I drew from. <laughs> yeah. So that kinda... was the morning. Yep. And now, so that was the events, and now we have to the morning phase. Yeah, we'll go to the morning. Uh, move defender from rest to ready. So we have no one. So should we? So we could. We can. I can put two to rest. Yeah, you can put two to rest. And then I can spend supplies to move. You can spend a supply, and um, that's what this supply marker. Um, so the supply um, moves four to ready. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move those four to ready. And I'm going to give Pierre a bit of rest. Okay. Oh yeah. So you have yeah actually a, a bit of a buffer. Yeah. So you can see too this this. Uh, Supply marker will drop, it. so our our use of supply to do that yeah it's going to be less worse effective as a, as the game goes on. There's a lot of that where like things that work really well at the beginning, it gets really really tough. Yeah, um, yeah really crappy afterwards. Yeah. Anyway, so I spent supplies. I did that. Uh, move defender from tire to rest. Uh, so that's already yeah, already done. That um, move defenders from resi to action space. So I'm going to put people in action space. Yep. Hmm, that sucks. Uh, that's really not great. I will say before we get to the first attack, um, opening up these defensive positions along the wall would be yeah. good um, because eventually once we get to turn four, you are going to start getting um, guys come at us and then those guys are the ones that basically shoot back and will take out the defenders. Yeah. Otherwise, they'll I'm continue to march towards us. Those two in repair. I'm gonna put Alex is gonna shovel snow again. Uh, uh, then he's gonna negotiate again. Hmm. Uh, he's gonna negotiate uh, shovel repair. Do I want to inspire? I think I might want to inspire. Yeah, I'm going to inspire here. Um, hmm, <laughs> I'm going to send another soldier in a supply run, and I'm going to keep another hunter here uh, just in case. OK. Good. Uh, so Sweet. that was the move defenders to ready action to so open new supply routes, negotiate. Uh, yep. So that's going to be our mobilization phase. And have this. So negotiate is just going to drop the down by one. Yep. So I'll say the fear track. It, we haven't talked too much about that. At the end of the, um, <laughs> you, you'll love this. At the end of turn three, you'll see that it actually says coup underneath turn three. Um, mm -hmm. 
we basically will have a little mini coup inside our fortress. And so depending on what level that I can relate. Yeah. <laughs> I, I figured you might like that. Yeah. Depending on where that fear track is, we will actually lose that many defenders can leave our fortress and be out of the game. And and what's the way for me to move down fear? So this negotiate, you can either oh, move down I'm... doubt or fear. So Okay, yeah. So actually, you know what? I'm going to move down fear. Yep. Yeah, that's a that's a good point. Oh, and we have Pablo with us. How is it, Pablo? How is it? <laughs> so Pablo just became over the last week uh, a board game sensation sensation because of uh, uh, Old King Crown. It's it's mm. been on the number one spot of BGG's hotness for I don't know how like five days now, Pablo. It's insane. Congrats! And I think it's uh, like reaching four four K backers on Kickstarter, which is like nuts. It's it's so great. Very, I'm sure it was your live stream, Fred, that put it over the top. Definitely. Of course, uh, Pablo knows that. Like, I think 1K of those backers at least are, are coming from uh, from uh, from uh, from Homo Ludens. Yeah, and Tim is like, goo! Yeah, he knows. Anyway, that was... Um, <laughs> so that was that. We don't fire our theory, uh, but we do have the thing for supply run. Yep. So what happens with that guy? Um, I know when he gets there, he stops... So he can go to get the supplies. Um, I believe days. he has. Yeah, awesome. yeah, he has to stop when he goes and gets into his supply area. Um, but then when he comes back, will be the question of whether he can sneak past that guy, attack him, or. Um, so he's he gonna. Just can't wait. So he's gonna move four. So he moves one. Yep, and then, then he basically he... will pick up one of those. Yeah. So and then it would be two, and now we have to decide what I want to do. Yeah, well, I think he's going to stop when he gets to the supply because I think anytime you get to the supply, if I remember right, you have you must stop. Oh, um, so I would that kind of ends your movement movement once you hit the, uh, the supply section. Let me double check to make sure I'm not mistelling you here. Uh, number of spaces. If the defender moves into a space. Do, 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 do. Yeah, must end its movement if it enters the fortress or supply depot. Yeah. Okay. And thought. with that new guy? Yep. Uh, and then we can send him out on another run. We have. Oh, uh, yeah. We have the. We have these guys over here, um, or we can try to get another. God, having that yeah. guy right there sucks for. Yeah, I think I'm going to go in that direction. So it's going to be first step one. But if you look closely, two. you actually can move columns. There is yeah. a few spots where you can do. move laterally. Three and four, hoping that this guy is not... It shouldn't move, yeah. right? I just hope that a six is not going to come up. You we'll could see. pull a six, yeah. Yeah. That's one, two, three, four. Uh, and that's it for my uh, running the supply route. Yep. Uh, and now we do the... Uh, Petrol, petrol counters, or is it not not now? Um, not yet. We will actually move to step four, so the maintenance. Oh yeah, this is where like the board and its numbers kind of help because we're at number three for supply run. Now we go down to to maintenance. So Alex is uh, shoving snow, so it's going from. He's been like Alex. You've been doing a great job. Like <laughs> there is literally no snow. If I'm looking around the fortress right now, I would say it's spring. So uh, really yeah, good. if we can if we can keep it there and do it one more time, we can get to the snow cards, which are yeah. I think one of the coolest parts of the game. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I think yeah, I'm gonna seeing put... the the board. Um, you can you actually see there's different spots like the field telephone, um, that's out gonna... the, the map room, the radio. Those are things we can uncover new parts of the fortress. I'm gonna repair a defensive position here. Nice. And then I'm going to inspire. So I'm going to move the morale to zero here because I don't want to draw two morale cards and resolve the worst one, I guess. Yeah, we do not doubt, want to draw low morale. That's yeah. very bad stuff. Yeah, Alex, you're doing a great job. I'm just so impressed with you. Your <laughs> shoveling abilities. And it shows the big muscles. Like, look, look I know, at this. look at this that is, guy. This is, this is Alex pump. Arms. Like, <laughs> super <laughs> impressive uh so we're done with maintenance um infirmary nothing happens because everyone is fine and now we go to the morale phase okie yep. dokie which again we'll kind of go down that list in a which i don't think any of those apply um it's not a red day we're not out of supplies 
we don't have anyone in the waiting area or the morgue or no um, enemies in red yeah. sectors. So basically we're at zero, so nothing happens. We don't draw either card um, from either deck. Oh, so I could draw low morale. Do I want to do that? Uh, you probably don't want to draw low morale. That's stuff like injure yeah. people and things like okay. that. You know, so remove gonna, supplies. So I'm going to draw one from high morale? Um, no, we just won't do anything. Won't oh, we won't either. do anything. Oh, okay. Yep. So it's blank. It's uh, you can notice the the text there oh, is blank. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then okay, so that's all oh, good. Check turn track for the uh, room. Yep. So, so we all, no, no one is here. Yep. So nothing happens there at the end of the turn, and we will move to to turn three, which is our last step of the mobilization, the mobilization. phase before we start having uh, Germans come at us. Okay, so you have 11 cards in the deck, and you're going to go just three of them. So each yes. game is going to actually play out quite differently, I guess. Correct. Yep. Pretty fun. Uh, okay. Yep. Ah, cloudy. That's good. That means that we won't need Alex to shovel snow. We just we can just have a regular guy shoveling snow. So that's yeah. So Alex can rest a bit. So that's good. <laughs> um, yep. So, yeah. Oh, I should have should have put people back in. Um, Oh yeah, they should go back into tired. Yeah, the people who work there. Um, so that's that. That looks like some more stuff. One of our patrols ran into a German patrol in the forest. No, that's not good. Uh, injure one defender and add, oh, for fuck's sake. That's so this sad. is where we will look um, at this column here on the card. Yeah. Um, and you'll see that the uh, volunteer, which is the, the little pitchfork, the blue. Yeah, is on the top. Uh, is on the top. So one of those guys uh, moves over into injury. Um, and so I believe what we got to do is we got to roll to see where he is on his injury. Uh, again, it's been a, about a month or so since I played. So let me make sure I've got injuries figured out on how that works. But I'm pretty sure you roll and then you can put him in a bed at whatever level. Um, yeah, because the, the yeah the, the the beds are free. Yeah. This is a uh, where is the little injury? Piece? Oh, the one which I guess is probably is it not bad? great. It's not great. It's the worst. Okay. He's, yeah, he's at the he's at the bottom of his spot. Injuries. Yep. You are instructed to injure defender. Consult the event card. We did. Whenever you injure defender, roll six sided dice. The value determines which level of infir infirmary the defender's disc is placed in. The lower the die value, the more serious the injury. Yeah, he, like I don't know what he did, uh, but yeah. Then again, he's a volunteer. You know, he he probably played around with uh, a grenade and just <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just hurt himself. Oh god! So what'll happen is you, there's only three beds. You can only have one guy on each of those tracks. Yeah, the and then they go into the waiting. And then area. they go into the waiting area, and then uh, again, nice visual cue. All yeah. next to each bed, there's arrows pointing up. So mm -hmm. even if we don't treat them, they will kind of naturally progress up that track. If we treat them, they will move up quicker. Um, yeah. But anyone in the waiting area, each at the end of each step, infirmary step, will actually drop um, towards the morgue. Um, so if we can't open a bed up to treat them, they will get worse. Okay. Well, that sucks. Um, so I add a down disc in the recruitment yep. bag. And I draw four. Yep. One, two. Ooh. I'm tempted to stop here because I really want this medic. Yes, the medic would be nice. Yeah, I'm gonna stop here. <laughs> I'm not gonna push my duck. Yeah. Uh, and uh, that means one supply is coming up because we have yep. a volunteer coming. That's yep. good. Uh, and then, uh, so the one who are in rest move to ready. Yep, they go for free. And again, we so, could spend one if we wanted to move four more guys. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely doing that. The officer is coming up, and then I'm going to get one soldier, two soldier, and a volunteer, and I'm going to put Alex in the rest. Yep. Alex can rest. I'm going <laughs> to clean up this. Yep. Perfect. Uh, okay, so 
we're done with that. Uh, we spent the supplies, we've defended the territory rest, and now we can place them in the action spaces. Hmm. So I think I'm going to put the medic here at work. Yep. Uh, which makes more sense. Um, do I want to promote, like, what is the purpose of making a volunteer soldier? Well, so once we get enemies, oh, yeah. um, the soldiers can shoot farther. The, like a volunteer can only shoot and hit guys at point blank range because their aim sucks. Okay, um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to promote Pierre. Uh, I'm going to promote Pierre to become a soldier. Uh, I need those two guys to run a repair. Uh, we're going to have just the volunteer shoveling snow. So we can get one of those snow cards uh, that you seemed enthusiastic about, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah, I, I just think it would be good to show people what those look like um, yeah. and how that works. Even if it's we only do it once, that way we can at least kind of open that up because that's kind of a it, it's, it's do, an uh, interesting little thing. I'm then doing inspire to have the morale track go up. Yeah, and um, I think that uh, I think this is going to be Tim, the medic. <laughs> okay, uh, good. <laughs> As we go, I'm giving names to everyone. Uh, perfect. So I think that's it. Uh, I will keep that um, one ready for the future. And I think that's yeah everything that I wanted to do. I want negotiate. Uh, I think that's yeah. I think that's that's it for me. So now we to we go to open new supply routes and negotiate. So that's the mobilization phase. Nothing happens yep, here. Nothing there. Uh, then we go into the supply. So now we can move five. So this guy could uh, from yeah. So this guy goes move here and move here and get on that delivery token, but he has to stop. He has to stop. This guy can move five, but can he, I move through? He stop. He has to stop there, and then he has some choices to make um, when you get into that spot. So you can stop. You end the movement for that round, and you can reduce the suspicion marker by one level, which I think is at the bottom anyway. So we can yeah. go down and. Well, I guess it can't go down to zero. Um, yeah. Or we can sneak. You roll a six-sided die to perform a suspicion check. And if it's the result is higher than the current level, you can continue your movement. Uh, Definitely. You increase it, right? So it's easy to do now because your suspicion yeah. is not high. It will go up. So as long as you roll a two or higher. six, um, you're, you would be good. Um, or you can choose to fight him because you're a soldier. <laughs> Oh, I could fight them. Sorry, I haven't seen that. Okay, so oh, okay. uh, uh, because I want to fight. end the movement for that round. Return the German patrol um, to the bag. Uh, roll a six-sided death to perform a suspicion check. If it's higher than the current level, move it. Uh, end your movement and increase the suspicion by one level. If it's equal to or lower, the defender is injured. So basically. So um, okay, I'm gonna roll for that. I'm gonna attack. So it's a two. So that's fine. I just cheated, but that's okay. I'm allowed. It's my screen. <laughs> uh, so and this guy, that guy goes, goes to the bag. Yep. Yeah. And suspicion uh, goes up by one. Yeah, and suspicion goes up by one. Yep. Okay, good. That's probably for the best. Um, okay, great. Uh, okay, so that's that. I'm happy killing Germans, uh, especially <laughs> Nazi Germans. Is always like punching Nazis in the face. Is always nice. Yep. Uh, so this is done. We've run the supply route. He stopped here, so that's good. Now we go into maintenance. So we're yep. going to shovel snow, and that means one goes here. So that yep. means that we would go, we flip one of those cards. Yep. Let me see what we get. Oh, Okay, yes. so this was just some supplies. So our morale goes up one, and we get one supply. I love that. Awesome. Uh, and then we do some repair. So I have those two guys, and I'm going to move another defensive position here open. Nice. Uh, and then I'm going to promote Pierre. Pierre is going to become a soldier. <laughs> and we need to rename him so we remember that this is Pierre now. Oops. 
okay good uh and then we're gonna in aspire so i'm gonna move them oh yeah that's oh that's gonna slap oh yeah <laughs> that's what we want good uh so we're gonna draw three and resolve two that's we're gonna be really good i think we're gonna smash those germans um yep and, and then, then uh so it moves actually by one and then i move it by two or you so you first you move by two because that's the that's the treat action and yeah. you have a medic there so he counts for two treats so he moves yeah. up and then what would happen is the normal they call it relapse and recovery so yeah. then he'll move up one more naturally nice. if there was anyone in the waiting area this is where they would go down one but we don't have okay. one there so uh okay but that's uh so that's it for the infirmary and now this is what i was waiting for the morale check yes yep. that's gonna be really good okay. so again not a red day we're not out of supplies no defenders in the waiting area no defenders in the morgue no guys in the red sector so we are on um yeah, check B. So three how morale, how high morale call cards and resolve two of them. Three. Happy with that. Uh, so lower suspicion by two levels. Uh, okay. Uh, move the snow marker two steps. Does that mean that we get two? Uh, um, so once we flip that, it resets back to three. So oh we yeah. Go back down to one. Yeah, I like this uh, because this is really good. Uh, oh yeah, there's a, the the snow stuff's all good stuff. It's either more supplies like this, or you're unlocking um, better stuff and ba basically leveling up your base. Hmm. I think I'm fine with the suspicion level at two right now. What I'm going to yep, do is I'm going to do want to gain a. But add them to the bag, right? Um, add yeah. them to the bag. Now, again, at the coup, since we're at the coup, we're actually going to draw and pull guys out of that bag. And we're going to pull three um, volunteers out of this bag so we won't have them in the future. Okay, so I'm probably better off just taking the supply, actually. Yeah, I would think so. I probably would yeah. take the supply if it was me. Yeah. I'm gonna take the supply straight. I think that's uh, that's probably for the best. That's what I'm gonna do. So those are the two that are resolved, and I don't move the suspicion level. Yep. Nice. Awesome. Okay. That's really good. Uh, so that's pam pam pam. Uh, <clears throat> so we've done the morale track. Uh, we're definitely not surrendering. We're actually ready. We're like, we're yeah. so ready. We're gonna smash them. It's gonna be awesome. Uh. Okay, so now that we're good, um, so we're gonna we pull. Turn... Yeah, we're gonna pull two more uh, patrols because we have two patrol markers on turn three. So we're gonna turn and put a few more of those. Uh, so two out. more, four, and three. Ugh. Okay, that's okay. I guess okay. as long as they are not blocking this, and we've killed this guy, so that's that's nice. Uh, and now, so now is the coup. Now, now is the coup. The, the time is gonna be everyone's happy. waiting for. Yes. Woo. Coup, <laughs> coup, coup. Okay. Um, so remove a number of defender discs from the bag and place them in reserve. The number you have to remove is shown by the position of the fear marker. If you draw any doubt discs, put them back in the bag and redraw until you have, have removed the number of defender discs. Here. Yep. Yep. So that's it. Yep. And then we move the supply marker one step to the right. So now our supplies are degraded. They're not going to, we're only going to refresh three guys instead of four. Um, now we can place one defender on each defensive position not covered by a damage tile. We can take these from tired, rest, or ready. Um, if you placed three or four soldiers, you gain one or two morale, respectively. Uh, I, I can do it now, right? Yeah, we can just... So all these guys um, on this board are actually back in the tired area. Yeah. Um, and we can take them from tired. This is like the one exception to that rule. And we can place them in the um, defensive positions. But if it, we, has, it has if to we, be 
soldiers, ideally. Ideally, you can put other people. We will get, um, if we place three to four soldiers, we'll get either one or two morale um, bonuses. Um, but I don't think we, well, we do have three soldiers. I we guess. do have three. I'm going to definitely place three soldiers. So and that that's, a, us... that's like a generic defensive position that is always open? Yep. Yeah. And those guys will stay there, so they won't necessarily get tired each turn. They can, however, get attacked when they when yeah. get to the attack phase. Um, so morale would have dropped to zero, but since we gained one morale, we'll, we're going to start at plus one. Uh, isn't Oh, yeah, it's plus one because of the three, four. Okay, because good. we put three guys in there. And now we flip the mobilization uh, board. Yep, yep. So Oop. let's move these stupid blocks out of here. Oh, and I we'll hear see. a cat. A cat is oh, hungry. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's my little kitty over there that she got fed, but she thinks she needs to be fed again. Yeah, they always think that. Maybe they're right. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's going to be the attack phase. Good, yep. good, good. We still have 20 minutes to go, so maybe we we'll see an attack. Yep. Uh, yeah, we will start seeing now that we're in attack phase. Um, uh, okay, so this is done. We've done the coup. Uh, we need to move the turn track, and we're going to go into first attack. Ah, it's pretty cool. So we're going to see the the change in uh, yep. uh, the change in in pace, I guess. Yep. Uh, great. Uh, so I guess we go back to the move weather worker and everything. So I'm going to join events, but from the first attack deck this time. Yep, now you're going from first attack. Oops. And it's sunny. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, and so the, the, there is sun in Norway, apparently. Good. <laughs> so that's nice to know. I can move six, which is actually exactly what I needed. Uh, I can change a volunteer oh, no. into a soldier. One of our soldiers turns into a volunteer. That's not great. Uh, one of our guards was caught sleeping while on duty. We can't afford the risk. Oh, it's not the other way around. Yeah, okay, basically sucks. one of our guys are degrading, essentially. Uh, so it has to be one of those. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, that's pretty bad. But we got the bonus anyway, so that's... And you'll see on the attack board, um, hit range, the, the soldiers and the officers can hit all the way out here to the distance. The yeah. volunteers, they can only hit these guys in the red zone, which is point blank. Their, their yeah. aim sucks because they're... They're volunteers. They're not professional soldiers. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Okay. Uh, and so that's that. So we resolve the event card. Uh, now we gain recruit. Yep. So we do the recruit. We don't add any more doubt, but we do um, still draw. And it's still, again, if we draw a pink, we yeah. will stop. We will choose one guy we have and keep him there. Oh, I'm going to step here. Nice. This is fine. <laughs> I'm happy yep. with that. Uh, okay. Uh, well, I guess that's good. Um, and now we add uh, German infantry meeples to the bag. Add meeples. That's so five. that is on the attack. Um, do, 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 do. Let me make sure I've got attack phase here. Oh, they were so cute. Okay, infantry attack. On day four through six, an attack is performed. If there are any defenders in defensive positions, skip the remainder of the step and go to step B. In each sector, starting with sector one and moving up through the sectors that contain... Okay, so what we need to look is on the card, and it says five, right? So next to the draw bag, you'll see there's a little icon yeah. there. That's the, the German meeples, and we're going to add five of them. And so we will start placing them in the lowest sector possible. And you can see that conveniently we can, it can hold four, a max of five down here. I got distracted. Uh, was, this one was having a nap. Uh, he's now called uh, Jackson for Stonewall Jackson. So that's, <laughs> that's funny. So yeah, we're uh, gonna add, add five guys to sector one here. Okay. Let's suck. Oh, it's nice rain. Oh. Okay. And then we are going to roll a die um, for each of these guys. Um, so each one of these guys will do a, a die roll we to do, see what we, happens to them. We do that afterwards, right? Or, oh, no, we perform the infantry attack now. Okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, so we do have five dice. Where did I put the other one? 
Oh, it's here. Uh, I roll for each of one. Yep. Yeah, we don't have anyone suppressed, so we would roll for each of these dudes. Oh, I know. Yeah, this one is. So we have three ones, a four, and a five. Okay. So um, the ones won't do anything, but. And the four moves here, four and four goes there, here. and a five moves there. Yep. Ah, so three ones is actually pretty nice. I'm happy with yes. that. Yep. So I, I can roll proper dice once in a while, so that's nice. Good. Ah. Okay, so and this was the last um, phase of the event phase. Oh wait a minute! One hit, one move. Oh, no. Uh, so, what does that mean then? So the hit means we are going to have to hit a defender. Yeah. Um, and is it decided by this? Yeah. So normally we would. Well, it's, I think it's these guys in this the, this defensive position. Yeah. Um, that's why the so the defense here typically could absorb hits, but we did not spend any bolstering to move the defense level up. Mm. Um, so we are still sitting at zero. Yeah. Um, so essentially... Um, do, 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 do. I roll it nice to see what one Let of the soldier... How those hits work in each sector starting... We don't have grenades. Uh, hits. Count the number of German meeples in the hit column. Subtract the current defense level. For each hit, you must take a defender in the leftmost defensive position is injured. Oh, leftmost. So that's going to be this guy. Okay. So he is now injured. So you roll a die and see where he's at. He's on level four. four. Yep. So not terribly hurt. But... Oh, and this guy's medic is back here. Oh, but actually, wait a minute. I think I brought him back by accident. This guy's supposed to be here. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, that wasn't great. <laughs> yep. was, I should have put the. I should have put Jackson here. I could have, right? Yeah. I guess you could have. Yeah. Well, yeah, well I'll let you take a mulligan. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have two soldiers here, and Jackson is is taking the hit. Yeah. Uh, just what he there's <laughs> what he deserves. Good. <laughs> Good shot in the face. Uh, okay. Uh, so that's yep. that. So now we're done. So now we go into the morning phase. Yep. So Which what, is the what same. You can go in ready. Yep. Uh, well, I think it's you know it's perfect to have supply doing three because then I do uh, three supplies like one, two, no two and three and then i can put those two in rest yep perfect oh three was one that was hidden okay that's actually not perfect uh yeah okay here i am oh it's already going i see that it's going bad already um okay so now i've done that I said, blah, 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 and now i can move them to action spaces so now it feels pretty clear that we need to bolster um Oh yeah, and the, the uh, when it puts... actually, do I need to put this, this move guy this... goes up here too? I forgot about that. I feel like it's worth it. Oh yeah, this one moves to sector two. Okay. Yep, that's what the move section is. Well, I'm definitely gonna put this guy here now. Uh... It might not be bad to. Try a bolster and get that defense level. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm going to have one shoveling snow. Where is the snow shoveling? Yeah. Yep. We're going to snowball snow. Uh, then I'm going to have two to bolster, which I think is going to be necessary. I'm going to have the officer inspiring. Uh, and hmm. actually, I'm going to have. When do we fire artillery? Oh. Yeah, it's part of the, the next step if we yeah. have a, but you can only do that with a soldier. Mm. Makes sense. You can't have a random person fire artillery. So, um, you could, oh, put, yeah, you could be... put the soldier there. Um, and you could but put... I don't have enough soldiers. Yeah, I'm going to wait. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah, it starts getting into the tough part of the. The turn. Yeah, I'm going to start. Uh, I'm going to use those two to do some repairs because those two are going to go up here. So it's actually useless to put someone here. Um, the only difference if you put someone there, um, they can each move up one. 
and then they'll move up oh. again and then they'll come back. Yeah, okay, that actually makes more sense then. Uh, then in that case, I'm going to keep a medic to ready because I feel like I'm going to get some casualties anyway. And I'm going to put it, if I can split, that's, that's, then that's perfect. I'm going to do this. Well, I've placed my stuff. So open new route, supply route, negotiate. So that's them. So we don't have mobilization phase anymore. So now we fire our Germans. Yes. And so we're going to roll. This is where we roll for each defender. Um, and, and they, they can all fire at. Yep. At, so yeah, they, they, they can fire at everyone. Um, they can hit anyone in either range. And so a one through three will suppress a defender. A four through six will hit. And when it's hit, it's it's dead, right? When it's hit, he's yeah. When he's removed, if he's suppressed, we lay him on his side. So um, two are hit, uh, and one is suppressed. So I guess we're gonna suppress one of those. Do I yep. do that? Yeah, I'm gonna flip it. Uh, yeah, kind of hard to do in TTS. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it on his. Uh, I'm I'm actually gonna just gonna put him on the slightly on the side like this to show yep. that it's suppressed. And then I have two hits, so I'm definitely gonna kill this. Yep. Uh, and I'm gonna kill this. Yep. It's going to go back. That's okay, I guess. <laughs> uh, for now, I, I feel like it's going to pile up and it's going to be awful. Uh, so I fire at Germans. I don't have a field telephone, so nothing happens nope. here. Machine gun, reckless defense. I don't have a machine gun. I don't have a reckless defense. So I think this is done. Yep. And now we do the supply. Yep. Uh, so room. I don't send out new people, but it's six, so that's going to be pretty good. So that's going to be one. So it's actually two, five when they're carrying. So it's minus one if they're four. carrying in delivery. Oh yeah, but so that's, he gets that's, in. Yeah, he gets in and he goes into tired, I guess. Yeah. So this is here, and I get a supply. Yep. And he's going to be able to do that also. One, two, three, four. Oh, for yeah. Five. It's just here. Okay. <laughs> so close yet so far. Uh, okay. So that's that. Yep. Uh, then I shovel. Yep. Shovel, shovel. So I have, uh, is it Alex? Alex is shoveling again. Boop, boop, boop. Things work. So that's what it is. Uh, yep. I'll put them back here. Uh, then we bolster. So we move the defense by one. And we're going to move those two here so I don't forget about them. Uh, and then I'm going to inspire. So I'm going to move the moral marker by, oops, by one. Yep. Good. Uh, and then, so that was four. Then we go into the infirmary. Those two are going to move by one because yep. of this guy. And, and then, then the they naturally recover. Yep. This It's like, it, it's literally, I have, a, I have a whole division here. Like it's... They have no idea what they're up against. That's what I'm telling you. Uh, so that's five. And now we go to six. Um, morale. So it's not a red day. So that's fine. We are not out of supplies. Uh, what is the waiting area? Oh, that's this, right? Um, waiting area is in the, in the infirmary, right? Yeah, OK. And I have no uh defenders in the morgue and i have no soldiers in the red sector yep we took out the guy that was in the red sector so i get three high and resolve two this is yep. this is good one two three okay nice. so what do i have move to defender from the tired area to the ready area that sounds pretty good gain one remove one oh actually i like that uh i'm gonna resolve this okay remove one purple disc so I'm going to search. Uh, it's going to basically reduce by 25% my chance of getting one. So it's, it's not nice. great, but still. Uh, gain one or move to defender. Too tired. The, the, the supply now is doing three. So I'm probably better off just taking the supply at this stage. If it was that's later, yeah. That's what I was thinking. You... Yeah. So that's that. So that's six. Yep. Uh, so that's the morale. We took the turn track for uh, dudes. There is no dudes. Uh, there is no coup. There is no retreat. There is no last stand. So oh, it, it goes back to zero? Yep. Or it just it drops by one? It always resets back to zero at the, okay. at the end. And then we move to turn five. Whew. I think that 
We're doing okay. We're doing okay. <laughs> How are you on time? Uh, oh, yeah. We're going to be a bit... I think we're going to have to stop here. And so we have a couple of minutes to debrief. Uh, yep. So what oh, do you think about this one, Fred? Joe is having moral doubts. I want Fred to lose, but I don't want the Nazis to win. Is that a secret third option? <laughs> this is so uh, socio-democrat of you, uh, hoping for uh, a third option. Like uh, I don't like the people who don't like the Nazis because they are communists, but I also don't like the Nazis. This is so you, Joe. You have to join. Uh, you have to join the Communist Party, Joe. I'm sorry. There is no third way. Uh, so how do I? Th so first of all, I think it's uh, beautiful. But this I already said in the beginning. Um, the other thing that I thought was, it's it's really hard to have something that is beautiful, but also um, with a layout that is actually extremely functional. I feel like sometimes you have to make the choice between the theme in your art and the functionality. And I really feel like in this one, um, uh, they actually managed to, uh, to, to do both, which I think is actually pretty impressive. Uh, so that's, that's actually one of the, the really cool aspect of it. Um, uh, and then actually, I must admit, I think someone was saying something, uh, uh, I think was it Alex? What did he check? Alex was was wondering. <laughs> so th I think this actually shows the the, the status that we're in. Is Fred enjoying this idea board game? Sure, looks like it. And I would say yes, I definitely enjoy myself. I thought it was super fun. Um, I, I I I like. I was excited. I was actually a bit frustrated. I had to stop. I wanted to play it more. Um, and so that's probably a good sign. But then again. Alex, can you really say it was a solo game where I was playing with Russ and I was playing with all of you also? So that's the thing. Is like, <laughs> so I, uh, so I'm still unsure. Actually, I might actually play it on my own. That's the thing, and I do that once in a while. Like for example, the State of Siege games, I would play them on my own. It, it's very exceptional, but some State of Siege game, if I really like the theme and everything, I would I would play it. And this one actually got me pretty excited. Once I was in the flow of it, I was like. Things were happening, and actually, I thought that the the step that I was doing of giving names to people, uh, like it gave a, a bit of an XCOM flavor, and I think that actually helps uh, also grab my imagination quite a lot. And I think if I was to play it alone, I think I would definitely give names to each of my tokens <laughs> because that would make it more exciting. Uh, but yeah, and yeah, and Tim is saying this. Yeah, it was definitely felt cinematic um, in a lot of ways, and you felt the growing pressure, and I. Love this idea of the different phases uh, that you have. This is super interesting, um, and yeah, I think it's I think it's awesome. What do you think you because you play more more solo games than than I do, and you were really enthusiastic about that one. You really wanted me to play it compared to other solo games that you play. What do you what do you think about it? Um, so again, I, I would definitely echo Tim's comments. Um, the, this is probably one of the most cinematic in terms of. Of I probably soldiers and postmen's uniforms up there. I think that one's very cinematic with the guys like busting into the post office and going floor by floor. Um, but I think this one really, I think I've said it the way I've described this to people is it's one of the best um, implementations of mechanics and narrative that I've played. Um, all the things and why you're doing them again, they kind of naturally make sense. Okay, I'm digging out snow. I'm drawing from this deck, but that's representing I'm uncovering parts of this base uh, to get it ready. Um, you know, the whole how fear and doubt works, yeah. and like I, you know, that's potentially the people who won't come and and join the fortress to join the, this fight because they're too afraid um, or they have doubt and they're not gonna they're not gonna do it. So. Uh, again, I think it's really interesting. A and then you throw in that you're, you've added, you know, worker placement and bag building into a war game. To me, it's just a whole lot of like really awesome stuff um, that I've just not seen before. And it just felt fresh. And uh, the board itself changing with that whole yeah. um, piece. And then, it, you know, when you get to the, the second attack, that whole card removes and then that track gets even bigger. Yeah. So you have actually, stuff. yeah. So you have a, a piece of like actual uh, cardboard for, uh, like, yeah. And that's so. This is the first uh, phase that we're playing in, and then it goes in here, and then it, yep. you have it without. 
so that's yeah that's super super interesting uh but yeah it was great i want to play it again uh so i actually might do a uh a review <laughs> yeah pablo is probably i'd give it six months before so actually <laughs> Maybe there are already discussions about this. Uh, so who knows? Uh, yeah. You might be onto something, Pablo. But it was awesome. Thanks again, Russ, for, for taking the time of uh, showing me the game. Thanks again to Tumpet for uh, sending me a review copy of Halls of Agra. Uh, super interesting game. We'd be playing it again, I think. So I would send some pictures on Twitter. Remember that if you want to support the show, uh, like, subscribe. And if you want to take part, like Russ just did, force me to take a review copy to play a game that I didn't want to have an influence on the... Uh, on the uh, And Pierre is actually dropping stuff that he's not supposed to. That's fine. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, uh, if you want to support the show, you can donate on uh, on Ko-fi uh, and you'll be part of the, of the Discord channel and force me to play games I don't want to and for me to realize that I'm wrong and I should have played them in the first place. So that was great. Thanks, everyone. Uh, have a great Friday. See you soon. Bye-bye.